Welcome back everyone to more gameplay from Motorsport Manager Online. And in today's video, uh, we're going to pick up right where we left off in uh, yesterday's video. We're going to take care of an upgrade to Jessica first and foremost. So we're going to upgrade her to level 5. And let's see, we're going to continue going with race pace. Okay, we'll confirm that. 317k. So once again, that's going to take a nice chunk of our bank balance and oh wow you saw the 100 overall just for a second there but it comes back down to the 72 that we expect however take a look at team chemistry it is now a plus six with the same nationality so that's something i'm keeping in mind when it's time to uh, sign another driver do we keep claudia we got one more race with her before having to make that decision and to tell me what type of decision i might want to make I am going to swap around the strategies. So we've been running the soft setup, which gives a second faster per lap to Claudia. And then we've used pit stop mastery this in this last race, most recent one. So let's see what happens if we swap these. So let's go ahead and change strategy. All right, where are we? There we go. So we're going to swap that. And so now... We have soft setup is, wait a minute, where are we? So active, yeah, there we go. So Jessica's got the soft setup, and then Claudia has the pit stop mastery. I want to see what this does to their performance. Does this leapfrog Jessica up to the top of the board and relegate Claudia down further like we saw in the last race? Does it flip-flop them that much? Uh, that's what we're going to find out because I am very interested to know just how much the strategy is affecting the race performance. Now, before we go too much further, I'm well aware you can work some of this stuff with the spreadsheet. You can look at your times. You can look at the bonuses you get, but I prefer not to do that. It takes some of the fun away for me, so I try to play it by ear and have as much unknown as I can possibly have. So that's the way I prefer to do it, even though I know that there are a lot of you guys that really prefer to put the pencil and paper to it much more than I do. So everything is now taken care of. Let's head to the track. All right, so now we are up in the high altitude, only 13% chance of rain. So hopefully we'll get a chance uh, to see what we need to see. We need to finish fourth or better for that extra 100K. We certainly want to do that. Oh, and okay. Um, I think we were both on the soft tires. I hit continue just as the screen was changing. So hopefully we're on the soft tires. We'll find out here shortly. But yeah, the timing there did not work out anything close to the way I wanted it to. So let's hope for the best. I believe it defaulted both to the soft tire. So we got second and fourth. Okay, good. Both on the soft tire. That makes me feel so much better. All right, so eight laps. Uh, let's see, what do we have? We could do, let's actually go conserve on both of these guys. Starting up right near the front, at or near the front. And so the reason why I'm going conserve is because this will allow us to pretty easily get four laps in, which means that we can do half the race before making our one and only stop, assuming, of course, that things work out. Now, we're falling back a little bit here at the beginning, which is exactly what I would expect uh, for the most part, simply because we are not pushing, whereas some of these guys up front are pushing hard. So we'll see how this all works out over the course of the three or four laps here in the first stint. Need the connection to smooth out a little bit. We've got cars all over the place here in the first couple of laps. All right, so sixth and eighth. So again, uh, certainly not what we were hoping for, but you can see our tires are in much better shape than those in front of us. Uh, the bad thing, however, is that our cars are right together on the track. That's going to make these pit stops uh, a bit of an issue. What we really need is for Jessica, or excuse me, Claudia, we need Claudia to be in front because she's got the pit stop mastery. So her pit stop would take virtually no time at all. But unfortunately, that is not 
how it is working out. Uh, let's go full attack mode and do pit soft tires. Full attack mode, pit and soft tires. All right, so now we need a little bit. It would be great if Jessica could pull out to a bit of a lead so we don't stack these guys up in the pits. About 3.9 to 4 seconds. Is that going to be enough? Uh, it was close. We'll put it that way. It was very close. We'll put it uh, in those terms. Might have stacked them up just a touch. But the biggest thing you notice is the quicker pit stop for Claudia allowed her to pull right in on the back bumper of Jessica. So once again, we're back to uh, conserving our tires, trying to make it to the end of the race. Sitting here currently in uh, fourth and fifth. Now, here's where the issues come for us. You see hard tires in front of us. Uh, the good news for us is that we're going to be faster because of the soft tire. The bad news, of course, is going to be these guys are not going to be pitting anymore. So we're going to have to make up a lot of time uh, very quickly. All right, so as we come around for lap number seven to begin, so the final two laps, uh, we do not have enough to push for both laps. We just, we simply don't have enough to do that. So I'm going to wait till very close to the final lap, probably coming through this final corner here, and then try to get these guys up and going. Okay, so we've made it up to second and third. Let's go ahead and push as hard as we can on this final lap. We should have just enough tire to make this happen. Hopefully reliability hangs in there. Uh, as you can see, reliability is right at that 20% threshold for Jessica. But again, we're pushing hard, trying to get the victory. It looks like it is not going to happen. We are closing in, but we're simply going to run out of time. All right, so there you have it, second and third. So really, what did I learn from swapping out the strategies? Um, I learned that these drivers are pretty close. So that's going to make our decision that we now have to make uh, pretty much immediately. It's going to make it that much harder. Do we hold on to Claudia or do we get a new driver? Of course, we've got bonuses from Jessica to consider there. So there's a lot going on in this decision. All right, so we come home. Uh, not sure how we came home second as a team. We were second and third. I assume the winner of the race was first and fourth to make that happen. But either way, we'll bring home 36 points, which is leaving us with a total of 130, meaning that in our final race of the day, we need 25 points for our next promotion. We come home with 250K. All right, pick up some more rare aluminum as well as copper wire. We'll take all of that we can get. All right, let's go ahead and continue our way through this section. We are right around that 4,500 mark, but now we are up over 5 million for our bonus. At this point, I can't even comprehend what this would be like uh, to have as far as money. Well more than we would have any use for at this particular point in our journey but still i mean that is just a huge amount of money i'm looking at this five million thinking it is a large sum all right so now let's work our way back through uh, any repairs to the car uh, let's see if the brakes for one thing take as big of a hit uh, in reliability as what they've been taking uh, probably so i would imagine given the type of circuit we were just on all right so what did we get uh, we got overall, okay, not too bad overall. Once again, we're going to be fixing the brakes here. Uh, let's see, only a plus six, but I feel like we need to do that just to keep these reasonably good. Uh, but as always, I would really like to be able to fix more than one part. Uh, that would be huge if we could do that. So now we've got a couple of decisions to make. Of course, we know about the driver, but we also have the staff. Let's see what we've got. Uh, it looks like we've probably only got that one engineer, unless we want to pay some money to, uh, to refresh that. So contract expired. Uh, we've got 
Average lap, or excuse me, pit stop time is three seconds. All right, let's see what we can do about replacing. I like the reliability uh, quite a bit. Pit stop times would slow down some, but of course, based on where we are, I really don't want to spend that money on this application because I believe we might need it here in a moment to sign a driver. So let's go ahead and hire uh, Marion and get this extra reliability. I think that's going to be really nice. And if it's not, then once we get a hold of some more money, uh, then we'll replace our engineer once again. All right, so $624. We're, let's go ahead and collect our sponsor money. Oh, this is a big sponsor, so $560K, which we are in all likelihood about to turn around and spend. So let's go ahead and sign uh, for the money rather than really worrying about the tokens right now. We'll keep that money coming in as best we can. So now we need to hop back into our drivers. And remember, team chemistry is going to be huge. All stats and all teammate stats are plus six if we hire an American driver. Of course, we're an American team, so that certainly wouldn't be a terrible idea to hire an American driver. So let's go in and take a look. So we got 75 overall for Claudia and... Let's see, what do we have? So David here, where is he? Energy efficiency, okay, plus 10. That's always nice. Overtaking, not that great. Uh, defending is awesome. Race starts, really good. Qualifying good, race pace good. Smoothness. Now remember, we're going to get a plus 6 on these as soon as he comes to the team. Uh, let's back out for a moment. Where is the next driver down? Okay, so it's going to be Matt Tift. Uh, the next driver down, still not bad, uh, really good at overtaking. But I think what I want to do is pick up that second American driver just to get these bonuses. Uh, just for fun, wow, look at this, 90. Uh, yeah, these are some really good numbers. <laughs> these are really good. And it's pretty easy to see why. They are not interested in driving for us right now. So I think let's try to pick up David and let's see. Let's go ahead and approach him. We don't have a lot of time to mess around, so we're going to have to figure out what we want to do here. I want to go 15 races. Let's see, 560. All right, let's go 675. Uh, equal car, support staff still, not sure what that does. And, oh no, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. 675, let's see if that gets it done. Um, it did not. Yikes. 675 did not get it done. Uh, let's go back. What is it? Can I see? Okay, we are, we are not allowed to see. I'm going to have to exit this. Uh, let's go back to the home screen, go back to our drivers, and here we go. Renegotiate. Let's see what Claudia is looking for. Okay, wow. So she's looking for quite a bit as well. Uh, I still think the plus six is going to be huge. And now that I know how much money I'm going to have to spend for Claudia, uh, I'm willing to... Uh, I'm willing to make that step up for David because I think overall, remember, he's going to have a lot of improving that we can do with him. Uh, so let's go ahead and approach. All right, so we're going to go full 790. And really, other than that, I mean, I don't know what this would do for us. Uh, in fact, let's I guess let's just find out. So let's go ahead and confirm that. And there we go. All right, so we got it done. I was actually beginning to worry a little bit that maybe we weren't going to get that done. So here, we're going to be replacing uh, Claudia, which pains me to do that. She has brought so much success to our team, but I feel like we really need to make this change. So we've got Feedback Pro, which is uh, energy efficiency, which could really help out uh, and allow him to push 
quite a bit during the race as he gets better at that. Okay, there we go. And now you see that plus six hop in here. So this is already really good stats, especially the defending. So yeah, this is why I wanted to go ahead with this. So championship average 71. We are above that all across the board. All right, I like it. So let's head back to the home screen. And I believe we're all set. Did we sign a new sponsor? We did. Uh, cars are in great shape and we're ready to race. All right, so it looks like we're going back to the very same track. Uh, not much of a chance of rain, 13%. So it's there, but uh, not very likely. Fourth or above is what we need. And we've already seen that we should be perfectly fine. Now we're going to be using Pit Stop Mastery, soft tires with both. Uh, let's see what we get. Qualifying power, fairly close between the two of them. All right, so I like it. Let's go ahead and hit continue. Now, this time, since I'm ready for that. All right, where do we qualify? So we've got on the pole and in second. Okay, well, that's certainly making me feel good about our decision to hire David. All right, how many laps is it? Eight? Yeah, still eight laps. And let's see, 20%. That'll give us uh, what we need. Oh, wow. So we're going to have to do just three laps here. We could we could press four out of that. Uh, do we want to do that? That's the real thing. Let's actually just leave him at neutral. And let's pit them on different laps here uh, at the beginning of the race. Let's just see what happens. Let's see if he's got that extra speed, which right now he's out in the lead, so it's not hurting him too much. But we're going to try to get three laps in here and uh, hopefully get to push that last lap, use up that 39% tire, assuming we have it remaining. We should. But right now he is out to a very nice lead. Jessica falling back a little bit. All right, so as we pass by the start-finish line, Let's see, do we have enough? Yes, we do. We've got enough tire to go ahead and go in full attack mode. Not as quite as much reliability at 52% as Jessica has at 62. All right, so we're still at 20%. Actually, we can go up to neutral at this point. It may even be able to push a little bit more than that. Oh, almost forgot. Almost messed it up once again. All right, so let's go back to neutral. So Monroe is going to speed away. All right, so let's set up, uh, what do we have? Yeah, lap four, so this is when we want to pit. All right, so as we come back around to finish this off, we've got 20%, so I could have pushed just a little bit harder, as it turns out, and we'll go back to conserve. So pit stop's a little bit slower for us now. All right, so David is just gone right now. He is running extremely fast. Now, the difference is he's got to make another pit stop. So let's go ahead and focus on him. So is that going to take him out of the running? That's the real question. Because we're not going to make it three more laps here. Uh, in fact, yeah, let's go ahead and queue up his pit stop. More soft tires. And go full attack mode right now for what's remaining of his lap. Pick up any time we can. All right, so we're going to have two laps remaining. And yeah, let's just stay on attack mode. And now we're going to get to battle it out between the two cars. So now we're sitting first and second. Uh, with a sizable lead, as you can see, pit stops happening right now. Obviously, David should be a good bit faster since he's pushing so hard. Uh, you can also see the difference here because he is better uh, with the engine efficiency. So all of this final lap, uh, let's go ahead and go full attack mode. 
with both cars. So it looks like Jessica is going to have the better of it today. But overall, this is a great race for us. Obviously, we didn't need this type of finish in order to get our next promotion, but we'll take all the victories we can get. And anytime you get an opportunity to sweep the front row, it is a very good day. So we'll sweep the front row first and second with Jessica coming out on top. Very nice. So that is the benefit of saving a pit stop, more or less. So it looks like David had a little bit more speed overall, uh, but saving that pit stop definitely helped for Jessica. All right, we'll go ahead and run through these screens. Of course, team finish was first, 45 points, and we earn our promotion, which means a bonus to our race purse, 525K. Add in the bonus of 100,000 to give us a total of $625,000. And we need every dollar of it. We'll pick up additional aluminum and gears. All right, let's see what that does to our leaderboard. Oh, wow. Up to around the 3,000 level, 5.23 million. Uh, we'll take it. We will absolutely take that. Let's continue on, and it should be time for our promotion. So we'll let the game continue loading up. We'll see what it's got in store for us. We're still nowhere near uh, getting out of this particular tier. we got a long way to go for that. But other than that, we are progressing quite nicely. Okay, E-Class is now complete. We'll pick up that medal. Now it's time to move on to D. Uh, we've unlocked three drivers and two strategies. So what do we got? Ooh, there is... Uh, just think about the timing there that we might could have worked it out to sign Robert. A little bit better overall. 74 is across the board. But let's look at our strategies. So one-stop strategy. Okay, I definitely like that. And let's see. We've got 50% faster on the first stint. Or wait a minute, 50% faster first pit stop, I assume that means. And 15% slower tire wear on the stint. Okay, not bad. Then we get the efficient chassis. First two laps, there is no red zone and no energy burn. Interesting. So the red zone, I'm not exactly sure what that's referring to. We don't usually get there on the first two laps, if it's what I'm thinking about. Uh, so we'll have to figure that one out. But no energy burn could come in very handy because that means you should be able to attack and get more engine power later on in the race. So these stand to be very effective strategies going forward. We'll have to try at least one of those out, hopefully in the next race, as long as, of course, I can remember <laughs> to make those changes. So we'll go ahead and continue on three. We've got a new championship, which is going to contain all of the cars. And then finally, when we make it to C-Class, we're going to have our first opportunity for a dedicated stock league. Now, it says Oval Super League. Does that mean we're finally going to get to race some ovals? It sounds like it, but you just never know until you get there. Right now, let's take a look. What do we have that is different? Points distribution, only the top 10. Okay, that's definitely different. We're used to seeing top 15. No refueling. No safety car. Standard. Okay, we're down to two compounds of tires now, so that will certainly tighten things up on the strategy side of things. But top 10, that will be very interesting going forward. So we'll go ahead and join this particular championship. Career points, 1,084. All right, now we get to our worn parts. And of course, now that we have been promoted, we have new parts that will be available. The question is, do we have enough materials to use uh, those upgrades? So here, let's see what we've got. Uh, we've got a lot of parts. Oh, wow, 70%. Yeah, let's go ahead and fix this one. So what we'll do is we'll get some new parts, assuming, again, that we have what we need. All right, we'll go ahead and fix that. It gets us up to 85. I like that. All right, and let's take a look at the parts real quick before we finish up for today's video. So brakes, do we have what we need? Uh, we do. 
So we'll go ahead and confirm that. Okay, that'll give us another plus 20. Suspension, what do we need? All right, so we've got, uh, we need, I believe that's the sheet metal. Uh, is that the aluminum, maybe? I can't remember, I'll have to look and see, but I think that's the sheet metal. We'll have to see uh, for sure, but that's another plus 30 if we can get there. And then gearbox, all right, wow, we need a whole bunch of additional gears to get another plus 40. Yikes, that's a lot of materials that we need. So the suspension, just to remind myself, we need some more materials. And now I'm going to try to make that happen. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you very much for joining me. And stay tuned for more Motorsport Manager Online.